Together, let us recite our entrance antiphon for Friday, November. I will look after my sheep, says the Lord, and I will appoint a shepherd to pastor them, and I, the Lord, will be their God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, the love of his Son Jesus, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. Amen. Coming together as God's family, with confidence we call upon the Father's mercy, for we have sinned. Have mercy on us, mercy on us O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Preserve in the midst of your people, we ask, O Lord, the spirit which, with which you filled Bishop St. Charles Borromeo, that your church may be constantly renewed and by conforming herself to the likeness of Christ may show his face to the world. For he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have told you often, are now, and I tell you now, even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ, their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things. But our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, we also await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and I long for, my joy and crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go forth rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ 
the love of God is truly perfected in him. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, a rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, what is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, what shall I do? now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me. I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, how much do you owe my master? He replied, 100 measures of olive oil. He said to him, here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for 50. Then he said to another, and you, how much do you owe? He replied, 100 measures of wheat. He said to him, here is your promissory note, write one for 80. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. In the 1800s, in the last, Dostoevsky, the Russian author, he authored a book with the topic of the searching for man's freedom. He had reached his full maturity when in 1880 he came out with the book The Brothers Karamazov, and it is a very long, complicated book, but the theme of it could pretty well be summed up in a single statement. If there is no God, all is permitted. Dostoevsky's conviction was that without God, there is no true freedom, only chaos. Devotion to God begins, begets true freedom, but without God, something must serve as a substitute for a supreme being. And St. Paul, he commented on people for whom God is non-existent, in, in, if not in theory, at least in practice, he writes, their only God is their belly and their glory is in their shame. When people make their own desires supreme, then in effect make themselves their own God. There is no freedom for themselves, only license. They judge that they may do whatever they please, but in doing so, they become slaves of their own appetite. Actually, many people who do not practice religion or who question the existence of God act in accord with an instinct within themselves, which in, in, insists that there must be a God. We are called to live an explicit and expressed belief in God. We are committed to following his will, and we believe that in following his will, we can accomplish the true purpose of human existence. We live for the future, not in the sense that we deny the reality that is present in the world, but in the understanding that our true and final citizenship is in heaven. And it is the kingdom of heaven that is our true fulfillment of peace and justice, 
mutual concern. The kingdom of heaven must begin with us now. Belief in goodness and justice of God is our motivation. That we act with love and concern for others. We put God and not ourselves first in, in all that we do. living God, you raised Jesus from the dead, and in his glorified body he appeared to many of the disciples. His resurrection is your promise of new life to all who believe in his name and live in his spirit. With faith in your promise, we pray. Through baptism, you invite us to participate in the Paschal mystery. By sharing in the sufferings of Jesus, may we come to know the power of his resurrection. We pray to the Lord. Jesus gave us his own body as living bread, a foretaste of the heavenly banquet. May we be sustained by the Eucharist and by our love for one another as we journey home. We pray to the Lord. The communion of saints binds all believers together in the unity of in union of charity. May those who have preceded us in death enjoy eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Jesus comforted Mary, Martha, Jairus, and the widow of name by raising their loved ones from the dead. May those who mourn be comforted by the assurance that their loved ones now see you face to face. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the intention of this Mass, which is being offered for all the participants in the St. Helen Memorial that God in his love will grant them many blessings and graces for their stewardship toward the parish. For them we pray to the Lord. And for all your personal intentions unspoken in the depths of your hearts, that God in his love will grant them, we pray to the Lord. God of the living and the dead, through the power of Christ's resurrection, you have conquered sin and death forever. Each day is a step we take toward eternity. May we continue day to day until we step into your eternal presence, and there we shall be reunited with those we love and every tear we wiped away. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have the bread we offer you, which the earth has given, and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual drink. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father.
May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night and gazing upon the glory of your face, glorify you without ceasing. With them, we too proclaim your name in exultation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care so that in serving you alone, the creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again, you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time, you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread blessed and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Thank you. 
the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death, his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert, our bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and her chaste spouse Joseph, with Charles Borromeo, and with all your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you. Let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Amen. To Jesus Christ, our sovereign King, who is the world's salvation, all praise and homage do we bring and thanks and adoration. Christ Jesus, victor, Christ Jesus, ruler, Christ Jesus, Lord,